Cameroon, there has been widespread condemnation following the killing of a woman in Moyuka, Fako Division Southwest region by uh, some armed men. A video surfaced online on Tuesday, August 11, showing the woman with her hands tied to the back while she is being beaten and dragged on the road by some men whose faces do not appear on the video. After torturing the woman, the men finally chop off her head with a machete, dragging her mortal remains in her own pool of blood. The act has drawn widespread condemnation with Ilaria Allegrosi, the human rights watch researcher in Central Africa, describing the act on a tweet as horrific. The gruesome act comes uh, just a few days after another lady was murdered in cold blood in Bamenda for allegedly spying on separatist fighters in the area. A teacher was equally found dead in Bamenda on Sunday night under unclear circumstances as investigations continue to determine the cause of his death. Mozambique, at least 59 armed insurgents were killed in Cabo Delgado province in battles with the country's defense force during the past week, APLN on Thursday. In a statement, the Defense Security Forces of Mozambique, FDS, said the terrorists were killed during an encounter with government forces in the district of Mokimboa de Priya. In addition to the human casualties, the human troops also destroyed six camps and other assets owned by the terrorists in the district, FDC said. The terrorists are alleged to have been attempting to occupy the district when the encounter with the government troops occurred. Mozambique has experienced a wave of armed attacks in Cabo Delgado province since October 2017 as these have escalated significantly since January 2020, leaving hundreds of thousands of people without adequate access to food, water, sanitation or any basic services. More than 200,000 people have been internally displaced in the oil-rich province where armed groups have attacked government installations and civilians. Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs Geoffrey Onyema has announced his recovery from COVID-19 after testing negative to the virus. Mr. Onyema disclosed his recovery on official Twitter handled on Wednesday after three weeks of self-isolation. According to the Nigeria's Channel Television report on Wednesday, the minister expressed gratitude to his family, President Muhammadu Buhari, Vice President Yemi Ozimbajo, and the medical team that attended to him, as well as Nigerians, for their prayers, care, and support. The minister had on July 19th announced that he had tested positive to COVID-19 and would be proceeding on isolation according to guidelines set in place by the Nigerian government. According to the minister, he tested positive following his fourth COVID-19 test and had developed symptoms of throat irritation. The report added that Onyema is one of the ministers and other officials of government who have been at the forefront of the COVID-19 fight in Nigeria since the pandemic began to ravage the country.